Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Andrew. I really wanted to do a video talking about my experience with anorexia, but because I think that there's so much information, even just differences between having anorexia as a male versus having it as a female, or how people perceive me having anorexia as a male versus a female, there's just a ton of differences to go through. So I think I'm going to create a series on it and just do small specific videos. But I feel like it's important for you guys to get just a general basis of what I went through and so today I'm going to talk about my story. I can very specifically pinpoint the exact day that I developed anorexia. It was second grade, it was my first day and Previous to, to this, I always wore boy clothes. I'd wear my older brother's hand-me-downs. So I was just wearing skater jean shorts and I had like this maroon and olive green and yellow striped little boy's t-shirt on. And I walked into this room full of second graders and they all just stared at me. And logically I know it was because I was late. You know, of course I'm the late kid coming in. Everybody's going to look. But for whatever reason, in my head, a flip was switched. And I remember feeling so incredibly insecure and vulnerable and awful about myself. I just wanted to break down and cry in the moment. And I, I didn't want to be around anybody. I just felt so isolated. Looking back, I really think that it's because I'm transgender and that was the first moment that I felt people were perceiving me as a girl. For whatever reason, the way that they looked at me, that's just what happened. But in the moment, I, I just didn't know why. I just felt like I wasn't fitting in. And so from that day on, from the second day of second grade up until my sophomore year of high school, I wore a jacket every single day. I live in Texas, so it, it didn't matter if it was 108 degrees outside. I would be wearing a jacket and I think it was more of a security. I didn't want people to see my body so I was just going to cover it up. If you fast forward to about 6th or 7th grade, that's whenever I started to gain an actual eating disorder. I started to limit my food. It wasn't extreme but I did start to actually think about a little bit more. What was I putting into my body? How much was I putting into my body? What did my body look like in the mirror specifically? What did I want to change? I started to really kind of in my head just start getting a feel for what I wanted to look like and I started to kind of trying to implement that a little bit but it wasn't super unhealthy. It didn't start to really take over my life until about eighth grade. At that point anorexia just started to take over my life. It took over my every thought. All of my day was consistently planned around how much food was I going to eat and when was I going to eat it. Any social interactions, if my friends wanted to go out, I would think to myself, okay, what excuse can I make so that way I don't have to eat? Or am I bringing something to eat? Because I know I'm not going to want to eat what they have. And it, it was sad. I was just living every single day planning, okay, what am I going to eat? From the morning I woke up to the minute I went to sleep, all I thought about was food. The food I couldn't have, the food that I wanted. It got to the point where I limited myself to one protein bar that was 100 calories, and that was it. I was consuming 100 calories every day, and I did this for months. It hurt so bad. Physically, emotionally, everything. I remember laying in bed every night just crying unbelievably because of the physical pain. I mean my body was eating itself alive. That's I was dead. I was depressed. It was it was awful. I just feel so bad putting myself through that. Sorry. Now that I'm a mess, let's continue the story. It started to really take over my life. And at that point, it's one of those I knew I needed help, but I, I really just wasn't ready to admit it to myself, I guess. Um, but <laughs> you'd be surprised what pain will do to you. So I, I, I just couldn't do it. I was mentally going insane. So I just remember running to my mom and laying on the bed, and I was like, I'm so hungry. And she was like, 
well, you know, why don't you go downstairs and eat? And I was like, I can't. It was one of those things, she knew exactly what I was talking about, but I think she just wanted me to say it for me to kind of realize it. Because I remember she was like, well, what do you mean? What do you mean you're not, you're not eating? I was like, like, I'm forcing myself to not eat. So at this point, my mom became really aware with the struggle that I was having. I'm pretty sure she talked to my dad because he came to me and, you know, he tried to talk to me about, you know, just body images and like working out, just trying to help me come up with different ways to where I'd feel better about myself. So I tried going and working out with my dad. I remember he took me to a place where they professionally like check how much body fat you have and everything. I remember they told me I had as much if not less body fat than professional female runners. Like the fittest you can get, the least amount of body fat you can have, I had. Like I was there, but I just still remember vividly I felt so unbelievably fat. Like I just felt ugly. Around this time, I was 5'4", and I weighed about 85 pounds. So I was severely underweight. And I went to the doctor, and I got diagnosed with anorexia. So this was about my freshman year of high school. So my mom ended up taking me to a nutritionist. And there, she gave me this little log that was supposed to track what I ate, when I ate, how much I ate. And I had kind of like a little guideline that I was supposed to follow. Like, it was pretty strict. Like, I need to be eating these things at breakfast, these things um, at lunch, and these things at dinner, and these snacks, just to make sure I was getting enough food in my body. But that obviously didn't work out. I did not like it at all because it made me lose control. Uh, I remember a lot of dealing with anorexia whenever I was that deep in it was the control of it. I... I liked the control of getting to choose when I ate and how much I ate of it. And so get, I was not ready to give that up. So majority of this was happening throughout my freshman year of high school. Around my sophomore year of high school, the end of it and going on to my junior year was when I had really accepted the fact that I had anorexia. I started to be more open about it. I started reading books about it and just educating myself more and I was ready to actually try and overcome it. There were a lot of things that I pushed myself to do, like work out more and eat healthy foods, but incorporate more foods <laughs> into my diet and just tried to kind of open myself up more, I guess. That helped a lot. Also throughout this time, I was, you know, dealing with my sexuality and just kind of figuring things out. So there was a lot more to occupy my mind with. I started to hang out with more people. So I had less thoughts about food and it, it, instead of my whole day being revolved around food, it was more, I would just have to deal with it in the moment. If my friends wanted to go out to lunch, I would have to deal with the the struggle of if I was going to eat or not but I wasn't waking up and going to bed just thinking about food so that was a huge improvement for me and it really helped and then going on to my end of junior year sorry the maintenance guy came in anyways so my junior year going into my senior year was whenever I figured out that I was transgender so I started to really just indulge in that and I started trying to figure all of that out and that was just a completely separate emotional roller coaster. Um, but because that occupied a lot of my time, I didn't think so much about food and especially because now I had the mentality of like, oh, you know, I'm meant to be a boy. I had already had the like feeling that my body was going to look different anyways. Um, so I still struggled and I, I did still try to make sure that I was thin, but it, it's like my views on my anorexia started to really change and I'm going to talk about that specifically in a different video. So once I figured out that I was transgender, my thought process through my anorexia really changed. I still felt very insecure and I still felt fat, but it was... It was weird, it was very conflicting because I felt like I needed to gain more muscle because I wanted more of this masculine body. So I felt like I needed to get bigger, but I just couldn't because 
anytime I would try to get bigger, I would just perceive it all as fat. So it was this completely different mental struggle. From now, I wanted to get bigger, but I couldn't. Whereas before, all I wanted to do was get smaller. And then I got on testosterone.